the Office of Language and Cultural Services, in compliance with the Office for Civil Rights Resolution Agreement, welcomes you to the Language Assistance Services Training. Legal Compliance Access to Language Assistance Services is required by law. The annual training on language assistance services is a requirement of the resolution agreement between Tulsa Public Schools and the Office of Civil Rights. This training is a requirement for all TPS employees. The U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights is responsible for enforcing the following. The Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which prohibits discrimination based on race, color, or national origin. The May 25, 1970 Memorandum, which establishes that school districts have the responsibility to notify national origin minority group parents of school activities. In order to be adequate, such notices may have to be provided in a language other than English. Additionally, the Board of Education Policy 1901 requires the district to ensure competency of any improved employee or volunteer who provides language translation and interpretation. Identifying recipients of language services. How will you know if a parent needs language assistance services? Go to PowerSchool or PowerTeacher and search for the student's name. If the parent or guardian needs interpretation or translation services, a language assistance alert will appear in the form of a red triangle with an exclamation mark. By clicking on the language assistance alert, you will identify the language needed for interpretation or translation services. This information was initially gathered through the home language survey. The request for translation or interpretation services can be added as needed by the district or school staff. Language diversity at Tulsa Public Schools. 38% of our students speak a language other than English and 74 other languages are spoken in our district. These are the top 10 languages spoken in our district. Spanish, Hmong, and Chukis are the most spoken languages. Parent Notifications of Language Assistance Services The following parent notification signs must be displayed at every school office in the district. The Parent Notification of Interpretation and Translation Services sign in English and Spanish, which informs parents that oral and written language services are available at no cost. Upon request, these signs can be translated into additional languages. Point to your language sign, which displays the message in several languages and informs the parent in their language that an interpreter will be provided. Additional copies of this sign can be requested by emailing our office at languageassistance at tulsaschools.org. The signs are also available on the language assistance page on Inside TPS. TPS website. Our district website also informs parents about language services available at no cost to them. The following information is posted in the district's parent menu under Language and Cultural Services. You will find the parent notification of language assistance services, the language assistance plan, and the language assistance services available to parents and guardians. These forms are found by clicking on the language assistance green button. District Approved Interpreters and Translators District Approved Interpreters and Translators Who can interpret or translate for TPS? Only those approved by the district can provide translation and interpretation services in Tulsa Public Schools. This may include bilingual staff, volunteers, or contracted providers. The approval process for employees and volunteers consists of language proficiency test and a training. You may contact the language assistance team to get approval or to obtain a list of approved interpreters and translators at your location. Site staff, interpreters, and translators. Approved bilingual staff help with interpretation and translations at their sites or departments. Site staff are identified by the school leader 
assessed for language proficiency, and trained on the role of an interpreter and translator, including skills, ethics, and confidentiality. The number of approved site interpreters and translators will depend on the size of the language groups at each site. Site staff who have not been assessed and trained may not provide translation and or interpretation services. Who cannot interpret for Tulsa Public Schools? A minor child may never interpret or translate. This is a violation of FERPA and other interpretation and translation practices. Using adults or family members brought in by the parents to interpret is very discouraged. However, if a parent insists on using such person, a district-approved interpreter must be present to provide any necessary clarification. Approval process for interpreters and translators in Tulsa Public Schools. Potential interpreters or translators are administered a language proficiency test and must attend a live training provided by the district language specialists. The assessment is required once during continuous employment. If the employee leaves this district and comes back, the employee must be assessed again by the language assistance team. The employee is also required to take the online OCR and skill building trainings annually, and these must be completed by October 1st of the current school year or within a few weeks of initiating employment. An employee who does not pass the language assessment the first time may retake it within six months. Only interpreters at levels three and four may provide services for exceptional student services meeting, including IEP meetings. A language proficiency assessment from outside of the district may be submitted in lieu of testing, but it must be reviewed by the language assistance team. Requesting interpretation and translation services. Requesting interpretation and or translation services. How do I request interpretation and or translation services? If you're in need of interpretation or translation services, the TPS approved interpreters and or translators at your site are your first resource. Your school's office will be able to provide a list of the approved staff interpreters and translators at your site. If your site or department does not have an approved interpreter and or translator, or if they're not available at the time, please use the additional language assistance resources available in our language assistance page. You can also submit a language assistance request for a future date through our language assistance request portal. If you don't have the link to our portal, please let us know and we will send you the link. For language assistance questions, please email our office at languageassistance at tulsaschools.org. Requesting interpretation and or translation services. How do I request interpretation and or translation services? If you are in need of these services, the TPS approved interpreters and translators at your site are your first resource. Your school's office will be able to provide a list of approved staff interpreters and translators at your site. If your site or department does not have an approved interpreter and or translator, please use the additional language assistance resources available. These can be found in our language assistance page. You can also submit a language assistance request for a future date through our language assistance request portal. If you don't have the link to the portal, please let us know and we will send you the link. For language assistance questions, please email our office at languageassistance at tulsaschools.org. Additional resources available. Language assistance page. You can find the language assistance page by logging into Inside TPS and you can find the Language Assistance tab on the left side menu. This website provides all the resources and links needed to support your language interpretation and translation needs. Propio, interpretation over the phone. All district employees have access to phone interpretation services in more than 300 languages 24-7 by contacting Propio Language Services at 918 3004840 from any phone.
they must select the needed language and provide their name and their TPS employee ID number. The Propio Quick Reference Guide can be requested by contacting the Language Assistance Team at languageassistance at tulsaschools.org. Propio One, Interpretation Services App. Propio One is a mobile app designed to help you access audio interpretation without having to dial a phone number. You can download the app directly to your phone from the Apple Store if you have an iPhone and from Google Play if you have an Android. Once you download the app, you will enter the user code, which is a code specifically assigned to your school site, then select the language, and then tap on the phone icon. Then you will be connected to an interpreter. Talking points, text message translation tool. Talking Points is a two-way, multilingual family engagement platform available across the district that allows you to send text messages to families in their preferred language. The platform translates messages back and forth into more than 100 languages to allow for teachers and school administrators to reach families. You can find resources, links, and tutorials that will give you an overview for a better understanding of talking points in our language assistance page on Inside TPS. Transact Parent Notices. Transact Parent Notices is an online resource available to TPS employees that provides unlimited access to parent-friendly documents already translated in more than 20 languages and available to download. These documents are already translated by certified translators. You must have a tulsaschools.org email address to access your Transit Parent Notices account. Access to Parent Notices is available via Clever or the Parent Notices website. Additional information, user guides, webinars, and how-to videos are available on the Language Assistance page on Inside TPS. Logging Language Assistance Services. Logging of Language Assistance Services is required under the OCR Resolution Agreement for scheduled or prearranged interaction between parents and staff. These interactions include Section 504 meetings, IEP meetings, discipline hearings, and parent conferences. Language Assistance Services must be logged by the staff member who requested the services, which may not necessarily be the service provider. How do I log language services provided? Logging in PowerSchool. Open the student's record in PowerSchool, and from the menu on the left, select Log Language Assistance. Logging in Power Teacher. Open the student's record and from the Select screen drop-down menu at the top, select Language Assistance. Once you select Language Assistance from either of those entry points, the process aligns between PowerSchool and PowerTeacher. Click on New to record the language services provided and enter the requested information, subtype and description in all caps. Then select Submit to safe record of the services provided. Best practices. Do's. Review the student's power teacher or power school record for a language assistance alert. Offer language assistance to parents. Use a district approved interpreter or translator from your site or department. If your site does not have an approved interpreter or translator, or if they are not available at the time, Go to the Language Assistance page on Inside TPS and use the resources provided by the district. For immediate interpretation over the phone, call Propio Language Services. Use Transact Parent Notices to find translated documents. Log language services received in PowerTeacher or PowerSchool. Don't. Don't use a minor for interpretation. Be very clear to communicate with the parent that their child cannot be used to interpret or assist in a meeting. Don't be afraid to stop the parent from using their child, family member, or friend to interpret. 
don't use Google Translate. According to the 2019 guidance from the Department of Justice, Google Translate may not be used for interpretation or translation of important and critical information. Don't ask a bilingual TPS employee to interpret or translate unless they are approved by the district. Don't use an interpreter brought by the parent without having a district approved interpreter present at the meeting. Guidelines to work with an interpreter. Give the interpreter a proper brief. The brief should include information about the guest, the subjects, and presentations to be discussed. Speak directly to the parent using a normal tone of voice. Explain jargon or technical terms when necessary. Use simple vocabulary to express meaning. Speak in short sentences, pausing to permit interaction. If you suspect that the interpreter or the parent do not fully understand your message, double check to see if they understand. Allow the interpreter to seek clarification with you or the parent when necessary. Be prepared to restate your message in different words if it's not understood. Thank you for your attention. Please answer the four questions that follow this presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Language Assistance Team at languageassistance at tulsaschools.org. We are here to serve you.